Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the kingdom of Rockwood and your boy Rocky Stonefist, the king of Rockwood. <clears throat> last, last, uh, last episode, we conquered Dover, we conquered Vineland, we conquered the Palisades, we we got rid of our, our competitor and former king of Rockwood, or king of Dutchland as it was then called. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember his name. King Abram, I think. Yeah. And uh, we're back. We're going to continue on the journey of King Rocky. And we're going to dedicate another temple. We already have one, right? In uh, the court of Chester is dedicated to Washington. George Washington. Uh, we can uh, increase our technology. Let's see. Legalism I usually go for. So let's do that. We kind of want to get rid of Gavokind at some point, right? Oh, another son. Great. Philip. Hmm. What am I going to call this guy? I got. I have uh, Sunny, Rocky, Paulie. And this would be Philip. Legitimize him. Uh, let's let's think about that. What is a good? Okay, we got uh, Tony, right? Tony Soprano. Yeah. Let's do that. Tony. Tony is a good 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 Italian American name. Tony. Here we go. Prince Tony of Rockwood. He's sickly though. I hope he lives. He's left-handed, so that that proves he's mine. <laughs> I didn't know left-handed was a genetic trait. I thought it would be uh, inherited. Or in um, uh, nurture instead of nature, but hey. I've arrived at the Colonel, uh, private rooms of Colonel Patricius. There's plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. Yeah, he's my friend, right? Yeah, he is. Good going, Patricius. Let's go. Gary, please help uh, save my Tony. He, uh, he likes me a bit more. We had a little bit of an arc with him uh, last episode, where we uh, we sort of saw the error in our ways after the death of uh, of this guy. And then, uh, then we, we, we stopped being his rival, and we, we gave him some, uh, some money, a good title. And we broke off our relationship with his spouse, Petra Sterling. So he likes us a little bit more, although he still has minus 100 from uh, being cuckolded. <laughs> that should go away in uh, in six years. You must attempt to save my Tony. Yes. Gary, please do. Please do that. Is this... Uh, oh. The drinks and food. Everything is fine. Or was fine until Gunther Patricius unexpectedly threw a fit of rage. I'm not sure why, but he's coming at me right now with his fists up. That's what you want. <laughs> what, the, what are you thinking, man? Oh, he's beaten up. Am I beaten up? Oh, I am. Okay. That's a temporary modifier, I guess. Ah, he's no longer sickly. Great. Yeah, we're getting a lot of kits now. Yeah, that's why I switched us away from uh, Seduction Focus last episode. Because we, we have plenty of kits now. We have three lovers still. We won't, we won't be making any new ones. Um, which is the most best. Can, can we ever hope to convince her to... <laughs> Like us again? 2704, so at least not for another uh, 20 years. Ah, let's try, you know. Let's, let's, let's sway our wife. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, you know, the only reason why why we, uh, we, we we still like her, I mean, she was just too old to give us kids at some point, so that's why we <laughs> we became, you know, we, 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 we started the harem. Secretary of the Treasury, the Patricius, has, has had some interesting ideas to improve the economy. Yeah, we, we kicked his ass, and now he has some good ideas about the economy. Sure, why not? Lose the trade stress, too. That would be nice. No, I guess not. Okay. Too bad. Um, What can we conquer? Uh, yeah, I, I was going to look at uh, this guy to see if he was uh, Americanist, but he's not. He's, he's Yiddish, so we can do holy war on him, and nobody nobody will help him. Because there's no other Jewish rulers here, so let's do that. Do we have any claims, actually? Yeah, we do. Post of Pokemoke. Let's uh, continue here, by the way. We can, uh, we can attack that also, this episode. We will expand a little bit. But let's start with this one. Yes, uh, uh, the factory of New York owns, uh, owns some of his land. Uh, no, not Wilmington. Let's go to the Palisades. Go to the palace. Let's go to the the mattresses. That's what they say in um, in uh, in the Godfather, right? Go to the mattresses, meaning we're gonna fight. Judge Ellen, yeah, I, I'm slurring my speech a little bit. That's because I just woke up. <laughs> so I, I have to uh, train my uh, uh, my voice a little bit first. I have some coffee. A little bit less of a dry throat, but yeah, I was like, I, I kind of want to play a little bit. Put the mic a bit closer to my mouth, also. 
I wonder if General Olivia would appreciate learning more about the benefits of hard work from me. Sure, I will tell her of my prosperous realm. I think she would be uh, interested in that. Yeah, she, um, she she was queen for a long time, right? Marvelous, plus five, wow. Fantastic. Rocky is fighting again. Oh yeah, we still have to duel uh, this, this, uh, this girl, but she's constantly at war. Yeah, she's at war now as well. Oh, 99% though. So we might be able to go to war with her, uh, to duel her soon. And finally get another mission. How, how close are we actually to, uh, to promotion? We need plus 2,000? Yeah, okay, so we're pretty close. If we win that duel, we uh, will we'll be in. And then we can start our legend, I think. How old are we? 34 only. That would be great. And we are one of the best duelists in the world, so... I think, uh, I think it, should, it should be okay. Fellow member of the Society of Cincinnati, Balthazar has been killed. Yeah, so that, that, that legend event is quite fun. You get a ton of events, like you duel hundreds, hundreds of guys. And then, uh, then you get like a, a bloodline afterwards. But uh, most people uh, are either killed along the way or are too old and die of old age. But Rocky has a chance, I think. Uh, Balthazar has been killed. Curses. I don't care so much. I mean, he knew what he was got. Was he knew what he got into, right? Rocky is a warrior. He's like, yeah. If you don't, uh, you don't like the heat, get out of the nuclear reactor. <laughs> we captured Bielke, seventeen-year-old girl. Hello, can we recruit you? We can, but we need uh, a little bit. We need you to like us a little bit more. Yeah, let's do that anyway. Recruit Bielke. Hello, welcome. You want to convert? Guess not. Okay. No problem. We are we are quite cosmopolitan court. I think we have uh, we have quite some religions in our court. Now let's see. Yeah, we have a couple of Rust cultists, a couple of Jews, a whole bunch of Anabaptists, and then uh, of course a lot of Americanists. But you're welcome. Oh, we can uh, we can raise someone. Sunny Balboa, right? Are we gonna we're gonna be uh, be uh, be our his guardian ourselves, right? We are a skilled tactician, so that's pretty good. I love Fiona, has just informed me she's pregnant with my child. Okay, great. <laughs> Some coffee. Some coffee to get the, 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 the day going. Uh, gain 100 patriotism from war contribution, gain 50 prestige from war contribution. Yep. Plus 3 moral authority. I don't think we really need it. Or 85%. There we go. General Rocky of Rockwood won. We conquered the county of Monmouth. Monmouth? Or Monmouth? I don't know. I uh, should give it out to someone. Any person? Ah, Gary, maybe. Will he be able to remain our... Um, our... Uh, Attorney General if we do that? Probably, right? Gary, my boy. Here you go. Yeah, he's still our... Uh, so now our whole, co our whole council is landed. Two counts and three dukes. So that's great. Great news. Yeah, our, our kids are too young still. I, I don't want to give them... Uh, what is this shield? Is this is this significant in some way? It looks to be. It looks to be something that is in Monmouth. Uh, if, you're, if you're from there, let me know. <laughs> um, Press the Jura Ducal claims on the Triple Cities. Okay. Court of the Triple Cities. He's Hudsonian. And a Baptist. Yeah, we can... Uh, oh yeah, we uh, yeah we can just, just do the Dejira claim, right? Then he won't... Uh, he won't... Uh, he won't call in his, his big daddy here. King of Hudsonia. Let's do it. A lot of uh, smaller wars. And we, we shoot because... There's a, there's a menace coming here. <laughs> They're pretty close actually already. Adam free trade. We need to be as strong as possible before he arrives. But he's got 13k troops. We only have 8k. So if he attacks the president, then uh, we should be there to uh, to help him. Judge Anthony of Wilkesbar. You have the title County of Wilkesbar. Okay. And become friends with this guy. Oh my, uh, my marshal, right? Oh no, he's um, he's the president general. I think this is friendship. He's a president general. We will be uh, we will be joining those ranks uh, soon. Very soon, I think. Oh, <laughs> we should. <laughs> now we are constantly at war. Still 99%, huh? 
I don't know why that is. We still want to duel that that, that girl. <laughs> we've been we've had that on our to-do list for years. The triple cities. Don't know which which three cities are there. This is pretty rural area, right? Oh well. Uh, Icha Bot Badminton, William Badminton, 100%. Great. I guess that's some of his kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We want to be medium quantity, so we can revoke stuff like that. But that's that's a long way off still. Yeah. I don't think we will be able to do it in our lifetime. Okay, um, we kind of want uh, this county, this duchy, right? So let's 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 make a claim on that because it will make our borders look nice. <laughs> Is there another kingdom there? Gotham. Oh yeah, the kingdom of Gotham we will be able to usurp soon, I think, or create. A lot of title loss on succession. That's fine. Um, can we do all now this girl? No, still 99%. Eh? Oh, 100%. There we go. Safe passage is protected, pleasant yep. Please end your war. Please end your war. Another son, Keith. Keith. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Keith. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's a terrible name. Sorry if your name is Keith. But it, it doesn't fit at all. That's what I mean when I say terrible. It doesn't fit at all with the rest we got. Sonny, Rocky, Paulie, Tony, and Keith. We should, we should get a name for this girl, actually, also. Wilmot is not really a, uh, an Italian-American name. What's, uh, what, what's, what's the name of the... Camilla, I think? Name of, of Tony Soprano's wife. I'm gonna look that up, actually. I have my phone here. <laughs> I'll cut this out, but I'll look it up. Carmela, yeah, right. Carmela, Carmela. So we gotta call her... Carmela. There you go. Carmela of Rockwood. I really hope uh, General Olivia is doing well. I wonder if there could be something else I could do for her to help her in, her, in her endeavors. Yeah, sure. Unmoved. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, we did everything we could to antagonize her, more or less, for a long time. So, uh, excellent news. Yay. And the gold. Okay, we got, we got, uh, we're starting to get a bit, a bit of gold here. Um, let's continue. Oh, no, we, we were dueling this girl first. Let's, let's do that first. Yeah, she's not at war. Finally, we can duel her. Okay, she's got 98 personal combat skill. We should, we should be a bit careful, I think, because we, we are a lot higher than her, but uh, not that much. So, uh, I hope we win. Here we go, duel. Duel for blood, right? So we can kill her. Let's fight. My opponent looks nervous, her armor a little ill-fitting, and I briefly contemplate asking if she would rather do this another day. A moment later, I snap out of it, letting the fresh morning air sharpen my senses instead. The staunch woman is soon on the ground, groaning in pain. I will show no mercy. She was a big conqueror, by the way. <laughs> she conquered a ton of stuff up here. And now there's a little girl here. I mean, she knew what she was getting into, you know. I am, I'm, well, I am gonna get angry <laughs> if we die in a duel, but not because they kill me, because that's that's the risk you take when you do a duel for blood. And we can we can now rank up to President General, the highest rank in society of the Cincinnati. My table is already full, officer. Are you saying you want to fight me for the spot? <laughs> you are. You're President General. <laughs> yes, that is what I'm saying. <laughs> I take it I win this fight. She said, why, why, why are you? So high ranked. I take it I win this fight. Yeah, we're not gonna kill her. It's pathetic. <laughs> there we are. President General. Yeah. I'll be our next in line. For this guy. Can we duel? Oh, we cannot duel him. <laughs> who, is, who else is President General here? It's only a few people, right? Yeah, it's Rocky. Elizabeth, she was... Yeah, she's my lover. And another guy is my friend. Yeah, this guy is my friend. The uh, the leader of the Society of Cincinnati. And then we have this guy, Colonel Alice. Alice Waltney? Oh, Alice, Alice De Witt. That's a Dutch name. Okay, I'm gonna pour some coffee. I'll cut it out, probably. But this is a great coffee again. Uh, so for those of you who watched this series for the first time, I told you about this coffee in the previous series. 
It's fantastic. I, I bought like two kilos of it. It's the very specific kind of coffee that my, my co-worker was looking for. And there's like one shop on a tiny little uh, island off the coast of Netherlands. Or he could uh, find it in the whole of Europe, I think. <laughs> and um, so he bought some stuff and he t let me taste some and it is great. <laughs> and I like the story also. And it's like a tiny little shop. So <laughs> they, sent, they sent me a handwritten note like, oh, thank you for, for buying. <laughs> Although, yeah, the, the, the problem with that is it, it becomes your default coffee. Yeah? So you get used to it very quickly. And now whenever I taste normal coffee, it's like, oh, that's, that's, not, <laughs> that's not good. Anyway, many important warriors have gathered in the lodge tonight in order to celebrate a recent hunt. I've barely joined some of my friends in the festivities when Sydney barges in claiming that he is twice as strong as I am, challenging me to an arm wrestling match. You are on. Sydney and I sit down in front of one another, preparing ourselves for the game. We put our arms on the table while a third fighter holds our fists still. The crowd around us, around us chants a disjointed countdown and cheers as we start pushing against each other. <laughs> You must always be ready to fight, I have to do all this guy. Sure. Duel for blood again. Yeah, this should be easy, right? I'm doing... Oh, I've been in a duel recently, I guess. Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> I'm gonna duel the pregnant woman, okay. For a while, it seems as if the victory was assured. I was slowly pushing for Sydney's... Pushing Sydney's hand closer and closer to the table. Yet all of a sudden, he has started to gain back ground. Getting his hand back up and starting to push to the opposite side. What? This option is available because you are dumb. Uh, with a loud thud, I slam fit Sydney's face, fists against the table, earning a shower of tears from the other warriors gathered around us. My opponent glares at me. I mumble something about accepting defeat as he rubs his hand. Don't be too hard on yourself. Yeah, you are a fifty-year-old man, man. I mean, I, I'm, I'm literally Sylvester Stallone in his prime, <laughs> so <laughs> you, uh, you really should feel too bad for losing against me. Dear Rocky, the letter begins. As I keep reading, I feel my ears growing hot. A love letter from Grace. Uh, she, <laughs> her, I think um, we tried to seduce her, I think. Oh, uh, sure, yeah, we can be... Nah, no. I would rather pretend I've never received the news. We, we are we are trying to sort of uh, gain back favor with our wife, right? So let's, let's, let's not do it. Unfaithful lecture. <laughs> Uh, once I legitimize best, that one is, is off, but that's a long way off. Then she will like me again. That's a long way off, though. Oh, uh, yeah, next one. Uh, we had a claim on this one, so let's conquer that. Oh, we, we are truce. We the truce with them. Okay. What about you? You have... Uh, no, we don't have any claims on you. Okay, so then we, we, we can go for Manhattan, right? Gothamite. Yeah. This is a big one. Oh, truce breaker again. There are truce with everyone. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna wait for a crusade before <laughs> request invasion. Can we do that? No. Ah, well, we'll, uh, we'll be at peace for a while then, I guess. While we uh, sit out uh, the truces, that's fine. Hello. Uh, can we duel you? Ah, oh, you're pregnant. Okay. You'll wait for that. Pregnant. Any special powers I have now that I'm uh, President General? Call to glory. Special battle, battle tactics for your character and receive reinforcement troops from your warrior, lo warrior lodge as long as your character is leading troops okay that's nice it's free free troops and choose military aspect okay i kind of want to do that i kind of want to be a duelist yes personal combat because i think that's like another 40 dueling skill or so right that's what i thought hmm. it's really not here huh? maybe it will arrive later uh, my little son prince sunny has always always has his nose in the scriptures <laughs> The scriptures. He's always reading the Constitution. We the people. What's, yeah, what, that, what's the one of the Declaration of Independence? We hold these rights to be self-evident that all men are created equal. <laughs> That's great. It's a uh, it's it's a very well written document. Uh, both both of those. It's uh, th those guys are really passionate about what they were doing. Uh, lose the trade cynical. Gain straight jealous. Yeah, I know. We're gonna we're gonna make him jealous. Yeah. He can be. We 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 are no longer cynical, but that's fine. We want to encourage our child, right? I studied my soldiers practicing their swordsmanship, and I am certain that some of them are becoming unsettled by the constant watch of their general. Perhaps it's time I admit that I could use some guidance when it comes to my own dueling. From this guy? I mean... Fine, I guess. You are? He's a duelist. I'm not a duelist yet. Yeah, we cannot conquer anything. <laughs> 
Uh, Alright, here we go. When we started practicing together, I had a hard time imagining displaying the kind of expert confidence that Major Edward exudes on the battlefield. Yeah, I'm, I'm more like a, a big, strong guy, you know, so I just swing my, my axe around wildly. And this guy is more, uh, more trained. I'm grateful for your lessons. Here, another 30 combat skill. <laughs> we must be number one, right? We must be. <laughs> uh, I have quite a bit of money, actually, and a, and a good monthly balance, so I kind of want to make a, a weapon. Where, where is that? Legendary gathering. Oh, we should do that. We should, we should do that too, actually. Yeah, we, we're gonna do that soon. We're gonna make that uh, actually a uh, special uh, special de decision because I, I, I have to do that as soon as possible. Because it takes a long time for the legend to build. It can take like 20 years. Uh, search for a smith. A weapon smith to forge me a deadly weapon. Yes, we're gonna make we're gonna make a new weapon. Maybe we should have done armor actually, because we have a pretty decent weapon. Oh well. I don't want the armor. <laughs> yeah, the Rocky he, he goes into battle with uh, with this sort of yellow and black underwear and nothing else, right? <laughs> uh, my secretary of defense told me about a Remarius Thomas Christiana. Horace the weaponsmith. Ambitious, envious, gregarious. Alright, fine. Yes. Kingdom of Eden. Neo got behind unrest. Is that uh, what is that? Celtic Pacific. Uh, climax is an army of peasants led by Karen. <laughs> the Heresiarch declares war upon the Celtic infidels. The leader claims to be the reincarnation of Captain Morani. Returned to again, returned again to bring the Californians to righteousness, and the number of followers that she has gathered to her cause poses a clear threat to the imperial authority. In order to enlighten the heretic and the infidel, Karen proclaims the foundation of a new kingdom, aspiring to Eden to challenge California. The bicker, bickering of fools is not concerned. I am kind of interested, actually. Where are they? Ima might are doing well. Nah, it's sad. It's so cal. And we got. So is it this Emperor Karen, right? Karen the Heresiarch. We will look her up. Uh, Karen. Karen, leader of Mormon uprising, that's her. Where are you, uh, my good, my good woman? Oh, you're up here. What is your, uh, what is your religion? <laughs> that's that's different. That's from uh, 300, right? Neo Gottbeites are relatively new movement. Uh, uh, both Pacific philosophy and heterodox pre-event Mormon groups to inform their religious practices. They also reject the Theo democratic system. Okay. Sounds like sounds to me like you are the one who is not <laughs> not doing the original religion uh, very well, and not not the Mormons or the uh, the Cedites. Uh, oh, is it a good sword, a lance, or an axe, or a mace? Mm, I guess a mace, right? Yeah, that's the most most boxing thing. Grab me the best quality mace you can. Definitely. Uh, yeah, we were we we're going to look at this yeah, Cedic faith. The Emperor Buddha Christ Hubbard, <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard from Scientology, and Muhammad. <laughs> Having decided to check on uh, Master Horse's pro process, I strolled over to his forge. I did not find him working on the project I commissioned, but instead of working on a different task. Bielke. Oh, yeah, that's her. My 17 year old uh, former prisoner. That's fine, I guess. Mm, is that fine? He lopes. Well, what, uh, what he does in the privacy of his own forge is not my concern. You know, Rocky, he's, he's, a, he's a lustful guy, you know. Um, for temper, uh, da, da, da. yeah, so it's a sort of, uh, yeah, a, a whole bunch of great teachers from California. And that there's a couple of very Californian religions in there. Um, maybe I should write a letter to General Olivia to convince her of my good intentions. Sure. Oh, well. <laughs> um, uh, are we actually converting anything? No. You go here. You go there, man. We can imprison someone. Judge Howard of Cherry Hill. Or Mayor Gary. We can imprison Mayor Gary. What are you doing, man? District of Veritan. Ah, that's fine. You can do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have given him, given him this, because I should officially put him under the duchy, but I don't want to, because he's my uh, my corpse position. Well, good news, my general horse said ex excitedly. The weaponsmith has informed me that precious metals and special tools have been located in a nearby province. All right, sent him, sent him out immediately. Uh, we, we need to borrow money, right? 
attempt to borrow 600 gold. Mm, or are we fine? Ah, I should be fine. It's only like a few months. So hopefully no uh, weird events will pop up. My lover Jessica has informed me that she's pregnant with my child. <laughs> what wonderful news. Okay, we are. <laughs> we are getting to have quite a, quite a few children. Um, it's, okay, then I guess this will reset also. Now, oh, well. I don't think we will ever be able to make her like us again. Rocky, yeah, that's uh, that's that's. Or should we should do someone else? We could do uh, Patricius, I guess. Or we could do uh, Gary. Where is he? Gary, mayor of Monmouth. Yeah. You can uh, you can raise my son. I do think there is. I don't know. That's a Game of Thrones mod, I think. But uh, learning does make you a better guardian, I think. Uh, family first. Yep. Where is my sword? My mace. Give me my mace, man. Uh, my sonny, my son, son, my son, Sonny. <laughs> He's a charitable little rascal. He just gave his newest toy to the smith. So yeah, he's turning out well. The foe hammer. Ah, here we go. I was struck with nervous excitement when Master Horus announced that the mace was nearing its completion. Today I've received a master in my throne room. A sturdy box is in his arms, and as he opens the lid, um. I f find it almost impossible to breathe. What will you name her, my general? The foe hammer, the bone breaker, <laughs> or the shatterer? The foe hammer, I think. So we're not really interested in breaking bones. We're just interested interested in uh, killing people. The foe hammer. Had the foe hammer added to his treasury. Okay. What what kind of weapon is it? Or is it the foe hammer? Plus ten personal combat skill. Plus two martial. It's not actually that much better than this one. <laughs> A little bit better though, to Marshall. That's a mace. Yeah, we, should, we should have made maybe... Uh, we probably should have made uh, a, a piece of armor instead, but eh. It's fine. Full hammer, there we go. Okay, uh, when we have another 500 gold, we will uh, we will make the uh, the armor set also. Are you... Uh, ah, great. Uh, can we not... Oh, he's Americanist again? Yeah, okay, too bad. He used to be... Uh, a rust cultist, but he's not anymore, I guess. Is his heir a rust cultist then? Christian Caesar of Laggard. No, it's also an Americanist. Okay, too bad. Too bad we cannot attack uh, New York easily anymore. That's fine, I guess. We will, we will get around to it. At some point. Uh, can we attack you again? Nope. Uh, I want you like a guardian. Princess Carmela of Rockwood. Except for someone who's nice and diplomatic. Yeah, Chomsky. He's Hudsonian though. Do we care? Not really. Not really. Major Gary of Moment became in prison and this guy. He wants to become Attorney General. Yeah, you can forget about that. Gary has been our Attorney General since the start of the game. 2666, right? So that's 20, 20 years. Now, can we build that legend already? Now we should duel uh, this girl. Can we do it? Do it? Yeah, duel Rawson. Should be easy, right? Let's fight. You for blood? I think so, right? Yeah, I will show no mercy. There we go. And legendary gathering, there we go. Let's fight, let's, let's become a legendary. Another, another daughter, Barbara. Barbara's pretty good. We will keep that. It's not really uh, Italian, I think, but. We have a <laughs> quite a multicultural cast of uh, <laughs> of kids. <laughs> uh, we have some African American kids and some uh, some white kids. <laughs> uh, yep, it's for both our best. We're gonna make you more uh, prosperous. That's fine. A subtle ways of pushing Ezekiel into showing his true potential effort one is okay. Very nice. Very very nice. Yeah, we have uh, we have a little bit of a quiet period, I guess, after a lot of wars. I think inviting General Olivia and yeah, my local fencing tournament. Sure, we are very good at fencing, right? We'll take the win for sure. Uh, of course I will come. The larger they are, the harder they fall. I decide to go on the offense, yeah. <laughs> we are now fighting together with our wife in a fencing tournament, okay. <laughs> Two lumbering men fought for their lives, they finally gave up and fall to the ground exhausted. I look over at Olivia and cheer. Eden stands triumphant. The Mormon of California rejoice throughout the street as the last of the Imperial forces are out. So here we go. Heavenly Kingdom of Eden. <laughs> Alright. 
Plus two Empire student defines the gods, yada yada yada. Karen has celebrated herself as a heroic emancipator. La 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 la. His, her rule is sure to be blessed by God. The world is left reeling as his challenge to imperial authority stands triumphant. Alright. Surprise to be sure. But a welcome one. Uh, maybe she's not interested in dueling. Oh, she didn't like it. <laughs> we won against uh, against a very strong duelist, but she's not interested. Oh, we, we are friends with the oligarch of Coland. Oh, our, uh, our chancellor. Yeah, that makes sense. Set you up to whiner. <laughs> Do you not have any kids, man? You've been married to this girl. Oh, this is not a girl. You're my best friend. We have another friend. We have a lot of friends. By now, yeah. We've got uh, our secretary, secretary of state, secretary of defense. They're all friends of ours. Uh, with the play idea, yeah. What a splendid idea. 50% of chance of losing stress. Now let's be together under Olivia's nose. Losing stress stressed immediately, yeah. Fine. <laughs> I can make this work. Ah, we should break up with someone, I guess. Elizabeth Appletree now, we love her. She's the president general, right? And not anymore. Fiona or Jessica? Yeah, let's break up with Jessica. Do 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 uh, Gregarious. That's the song Jessica for the Elman Brothers. Famous for being the intro song of Top Gear, although the version they use is a bit more modern. Ah, Post of Trenton, great. Uh, then we don't need to do this one anymore because we will have uh, the, the duchy probably. Yeah. So we don't need to have a claim on this one, so we can continue uh, uh, New York or here? Hmm. I kind of want to have New York. Let's do that. Hello, my good man. Oh, we're still in truce with you. We're in truce with everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can tell her about her prosperous realm. Why not? I don't think... I think we should stop swaying her, because I don't think we stand a chance of ever... <laughs> ever having her like like us. She's 54 years old. No, we're gonna we're gonna stop swaying her. Is there any vessel we can uh, we can sway? Actually, we are not making any money from them. We should uh, increase uh, feudal taxation, I think. Okay, we are now at 16 gold per month. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. Chesapeake. Hello. Uh, Embargo, yeah. I'm gonna do that because I want to build. Oh, he's gonna call in Kingdom of Hudsonia. Hmm. 4K. Okay, we should be able to take him. But I really want to have this trade post and build a trade post there. Because. Uh, that's insanely uh, powerful. It's uh, super. It makes a huge amount of money. Is there any other trade post around there? Okay, let, let's not get distracted. That's a goal for next episode. Let's uh, <laughs> let's attack this guy first. We uh, will break our truce with him in a few days. Uh, let's make a new uh, point. We will, we will do that uh, next time. Small feudal tax law, great. But, uh, 16, it was 16, now it is. How much? 18, okay, two, two gold per month extra. That's not nothing. That's decent. Hello, please give me this county. Or else. A curse at heathens. Okay. The rise of the men in black. <laughs> Word is spreading that an Americanist missionary, Hoover, has found a religious order known as the men in black somewhere in northern Virginia. You know, Langley, right? Using trickery and guile, this mysterious cult of trained killers has seized control of the fortress of Langley and converted it into their headquarters. There are rumors that President Georges Aldrin is behind the rise of the, or or the order. Oh, we have a new president? No. Soon, though. Winston Franklin is uh, is getting up there in years. The rumors that President George Aldrin is behind the rise of the order, but nothing that can be proven. Already a string of violent murders can be traced back to them. These men are harmless. We can um, we can actually sway that guy, uh, the man in black. Yeah. Hello. We like you, man. We uh, we're Americanists, you know. We're, uh, we're zealous Americanists. Not really zealous, but we are Americanists. Where are you actually? Langley, right? Where's Langley? Bull Run! Okay, it's a little bit further south uh, from our kingdom. 
And why are we not converting anything? That's only 6% chance, I guess. Where are you going, man? Are you going to my uh, my capital? Please don't do that. No, no, we inter intercepted intercepted him. There we go. That's uh, his whole army gone, I think. Uh, it wasn't until several weeks after the banquet that I heard about it that I wondered why I was not invited. Aren't oligarchs Sitchok and I friends? Maybe you forgot. I'm not like a petty, uh, petty, petty guy. He, uh, he probably forgot. I'm a fun guy, you know, to have at the party. Uh, let us hope so. There we go. Thank you very much, my good man. We got almost the whole uh, the whole of New Jersey under our uh, our banner now. We can usurp the, the district. Let's do that. Uh, we got six out of seven. Okay, we own both of these counties. Should give away at least one. Should we give it to uh, to Gary. We'll, we'll mess up our borders a bit. Major Thomas of Dover. We can also give it to him, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, we can give it to Gary, I guess. You can have the post of Trenton. And you can also have the uh, district of South Jersey. There you go. Not this county, though. We will we'll keep that for now. Uh, kingdom of Jersey. Yeah, we can make a kingdom, really. Hmm. That's a titular kingdom, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe later. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, we... Spent our time. Oh, actually, we're gonna fight that duel. Otherwise, I will forget about it. <laughs> Hello. What is your religion? What is your religion? Anglican. 40 dueling skill. That should be easy, right? Demonstration match, yeah? I think I win this fight. There we go. <laughs> easy as pie. Okay. Oh, here's the legend bar. Great. Okay, that, that is going, I guess. Okay, very nice. Completing missions and various events will allow members to fill the bar up. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, not, that's not just me. That's all the members. Okay. Well, on that, on that note... We'll end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode, we will continue expanding Rockwood. Uh, and we'll see where we end up. Thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.